News 8's Aaron Cox, live outside of New Haven Superior Court this day with the latest. Aaron? Good afternoon, Keith. You know, when Joshua Kamasarjewski was first taken into custody, police say he was more than willing to talk about what happened, even writing down his alleged role in the events. Now, four years later, his lawyers are trying to keep that out of his trial, keep jurors from hearing about it. Joshua Commissar Jeffsky scheduled to go on trial for the triple murder next month right here at New Haven Superior Court. Now, prosecutors want jurors to see a written statement that he has he made about the attack. There's also a 90 minute recording of an interview that he gave Cheshire detectives. You know, prosecutors want the jurors to hear that, but it doesn't take a legal expert to understand that his defense team is certainly trying to keep it out. Now, he and his co-defendant, Stephen Hayes, are accused in the July 2007 home invasion killings of Jennifer Hawk Pettit and her daughters, Haley and Michaela. Now, Stephen Hayes already has been convicted of the crime and sits on death row. One thing we learned about today, not only is there a 90-minute recording, but at one point, Joshua Kamasarjewski actually made a sketch, a diagram of the crime scene showing where the victims were and where he was in relation to that, his lawyers fighting very hard to keep jurors from ever seeing that. The judge may rule on it later today. We're live this afternoon in New Haven. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.